Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3, December 3rd. Can you believe it? We're already into December. <music> If you have not watched our previous Vlogmas videos, I think we have two up already. I will leave those linked down below and up here for you to watch. But today, we're gonna decorate for Christmas. It's about time. It's honestly, we are like those type of people that decorate like the day after Halloween, like November 1st or that first weekend after Halloween, we're normally mm -hmm. decorated. But it's actually the week of Thanksgiving and we haven't decorated yet. We just have not had time. Things have been busy. We went to Disney. We've had just, we've just had a lot going on. So we're finally doing it. We're so excited. We have had like our Christmas candles lit since probably before Halloween, mm -hmm. don't you Easily. think? <laughs> we do love our Christmas scents. But other than that, we're going to just take you along with decorating with us. We are by no means decorating gurus at all. I don't even know if we really know how we're gonna do this video, nope. but join us in decorating. And this is our first time in an apartment, which is going to be a challenge because if you did not know, and if you're new to our channel, we moved across the state just over the summer a few months ago. And we used to live in a three bedroom, three bathroom, full finished basement house. And now we live in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. So it'll be different. It will be different. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to use everything that we have. We'll have to show you everything that we have because it's a lot. Let's get started. Here it all is. Here is our, like, I don't even know how many totes this is. Like, I think <laughs> so many, eight, ten, eight? so many totes and bags. And that's not even including the tree over there. And we have a tree back there. We've got a lot going on here. And honestly, when we were moving, I kind of just threw things in boxes. And so I'm not even really sure what is all in these boxes and what we're even going to use. First, we're gonna do the tree because you can't start decorating without a tree, can you? Comment down below if you think fluffing a tree is the worst part. <laughs> it just takes forever. Ready? Yes. Ta-da! Now to find all the ornaments. Who knows where they are? Okay, so the tree is up. Now it's time for ornaments. I store all of my ornaments in these little containers. I might have some ornaments floating around in my other totes, but most of my ornaments are in here. And as you can see, I don't even really use it the way it's supposed to be used. It's supposed to be for like big ball ornaments. Yeah, I don't really use it for that. So what we do first is we basically just take all of our ornaments out. We lie them on the floor so that we can kind of like, we see all the ornaments that we have and then we kind of place them in place. Um, we do have a lot of Disney ornaments. I'm sure you're wanting to see our Disney ornaments. Um, we did say we'd do a video about that. We're already decorating and we haven't done it yet. So I'll just show you. Um, you will see our full tree look. I'll kind of pour out, point out some ornaments. Um, and we'll just go from there. If you missed this one, it was in one of our Disney hauls. It is this adorable up ornament. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. It looks like we need a topper for it though. I hope we have little toppers, do we? Uh, hook? Little ornament hooks. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I talk ornament hooks? We need an ornament hook for it. I must really like pigne Piglet because I literally have two Piglet ornaments that are exactly the same. Oh, Garrett, look. <laughs> So this is Mickey and Minnie, and they're in their wedding outfits, and this was actually our cake topper on our wedding day. So this will definitely go towards the front of our tree somewhere because this is just so cute and special. Oh yeah, we got that last year from, I don't know who. I think a, a box of some sort. If you hear the random shuffling, it's the cat. Yeah. Adorable piglet ornament. I have so many piglet ornaments, I feel like. This is us on our wedding day. How adorable are we? So I just wanted to come on and show you that we did buy one ornament, another new ornament for Hallmark that 
Came out like in the summer, I feel like, because we bought it before we moved. I'm just finding it. Look how cute it is. It's Eeyore and Piglet, literally both of our favorites. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it. So we have taken out some ornaments, but I feel like that's not everything. So we're kind of going through our totes right now, if you can see. And Garrett found something that I bought last Christmas. I actually got this at an antique mall. Really? Yes, I got it at the antique mall in Door County. Polywogs. And I think I only got it for like $10, but how cute. And if you look on the back, he has like, it looks like a, it looks like a poo bear in his, in his little bag here. He's just so cute. He'll probably go in our Disney background, let's be real. Stockings. Yeah, we'll have to find out where we're gonna put all that. How cute! Here. Oh, a little snow globe. Cute. Mickey and Minnie 2019. Ah, oh, look! I bought these at the end of last season. <gasps> okay. Tell me if you've ever experienced this. I literally experience this every single Christmas when we decorate and Garrett can vouch for me. I buy so many things after Christmas, like 50% off or whatever, and I just store them away. And then the next year I get so, it's like Christmas day because I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all my new Christmas things. I must have purchased these after Christmas because they're still in their packaging and it's the red truck. I just talked about the red truck in one of my other videos. I'm obsessed with the red truck. It's everywhere. <laughs> so cute. Here's our current uh, tree skirt. Honestly, not in love with it. We might end up going and purchasing a different one, but here it is for now. Tree chopper. We found our tree chopper. There we go. It's gold. So our dear friend Janelle made us this ornament and it's actually our Wedding invitation, how pretty is that? We had like a fall themed wedding and it even has the little like stamp that we used. I must have bought this at the end of last season too cause um, it was on sale. But it's a little Rapunzel themed ornament set. They're like little baby ornaments. And there's like Pascal and Rapunzel and the lamp and the tower, how adorable. And we of course have Olaf. Please comment down below if you saw Frozen 2, let us know your thoughts. What did we think about Frozen 2, Garrett? It was fantastic. It was so good. We loved the music. I kind of liked it better than the first one. Of course our tree is not complete without a Baymax and an armored Baymax. Gotta have it for Garrett. Mickey and Minnie. They seen that at the show. Okay, I definitely bought this after Christmas last year. How cute is it? It sings, it's the best. That's the song that they sing at the end of the Frozen sing-along. That will be in one of our vlogs coming up because we did film it when we went for in November. What you doing? Organizing. Okay, so take a look around. It looks kind of crazy right now. <laughs> But I'm organizing everything. I feel like this is kind of what we do is we just take everything out and then we organize it based on like, so like all of our wall decor is over here just laying on the floor and all of our Christmas pillows are right here. And then all of our ornaments over here, they look kind of crazy right now. And all of our like Christmas sweaters and Christmas towels and stuff is all over here. And then we just have like random decorations that are just hanging out right here. So that's currently what I'm doing. Just organizing everything, you know. Um, yeah. Trying to make it into an organized mess, if that makes any sense. So what's our next step? Um, well, did we go through this tote? Did we go through that know. tote? Let's see what's inside real quick. No, we did not. <laughs> More Christmas stuff. More Christmas things. Let's sort it. Look at this cute little tree. It looks so flat right now. It looks so sad. Oh. Our tree has a lot of gold accents, I guess. Gold and red. So I bought these um, probably two seasons ago. They're just like gold leaves and these cute little icicle looking things. And I put them at the top of our tree. <laughs> Discover that it's him 
to chapter three. Mel is no longer reading the book. How did that happen? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, look. <laughs> Belle's not reading her book anymore. See the book in her hand? Well, <laughs> fell off of her. Hey babe, last but not least, you have to put the, the tree topper on. I have to put the tree topper on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I believe in you. You can reach. <sighs> I actually could reach it. Hey, look at you, see? But you have to fix it. What's wrong with it? It look nice. How do I make it look uncurved? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you gotta make it look uncrooked. All right, I think our tree is finished. There it is. We will probably end up getting a new uh, tree skirt, but until then, this is what it looks like. How nice. I also add these like, I add these like little gold snowflakes throughout, so you'll see them kind of throughout. Like here's, like here's another one. And then I add some berries throughout. I don't really do ribbon or anything because I tried ribbon one year and I don't know. I just couldn't get it to work. I think Maybe. Our tree's too small. Yeah, our tree is also pretty small. If when we when we end up moving somewhere else and we have a bigger place, mm -hmm. maybe then. And we didn't use all these ornaments. <laughs> our tree is too small to fit all of our ornaments. So Garrett's putting them back. Now, it's time, I don't know what we should do next. We've got all of our pillows here, all of our wall art here. I have no idea. What should we do next, Garrett? Lady's choice. <laughs> Let's get this thing over here decorated. Okay, so this is what this looks like for now. Don't mind our litter box there. That's what happens when you live in an apartment. You have no room to put anything. <laughs> but we put our little sleigh right here. This used to go outside, but we don't have a front porch anymore. So there it is. I think we want to put some like garland over it we talked about. This is the look of our little shelf unit. So just starting at the top, I've got my little snowmen. I've had these forever and they like... They're kind of like bobbleheads. They're so stinking cute. If you're ever wondering where I got all of my Christmas items, it's either one of two places, actually one of three places, Target, Home Goods, or NatureWorks, which you probably don't know what NatureWorks is, but it's a place in Door County and they have adorable, <laughs> literally adorable. I'm pretty sure I got all the stuff here from NatureWorks. But anyways, so over here I have my three snowmen. So cute and sparkly. And then I've got, this used to be a, uh, it's technically to put a candle in the middle of it, but I put the tree in the middle of it. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. And then down here, we've just got a picture of us and our nieces and nephews at our wedding day. And then our little troll, he's so cute. And then I just added these little owls, little winter owls. Over here, I've got, does anyone know what this is? It is a La Bufana, if you are Italian. I am Italian and my nonna gave this to me, meaning grandma, like forever ago, so I still put it out. <laughs> and then I have this little sign that says, I'm sorry for the things I said when it was winter because i um, not a big fan of winter. <laughs> Down here we have the uglier the sweater, the merrier the holiday. And then just a regular frame and that's regular too. So just some, added Christmas touches to this little area. Now, to the living room. To the living room. We also have a pillow that says Merry Christmas you filthy animal, but it will go in our guest it will go on our guest bed. It's super duper cute. And then this is another pillow that I bought at the end of last season and I'm so excited to have it. I also got this from NatureWorks. Nature works. Time to put up our stockings. I also bought this stocking at the end of last season. It's just a little guy and it's for Ali Polly. Cute. 
So I just wanted to show you one of my very favorite signs that I got from probably NatureWorks, but it says, the holidays are here, time to play how drunk can I get at a family party without them knowing. Accurate. All right, Garrett's putting our first wall art up. All right, our first one is up and it says, happy winter. Our next one says, Santa, stop here or be prepared to explain yourself. Also got it at NatureWorks. <laughs> How cute. This one's from Hallmark. I just got it for my birthday from my mom. Thanks, mom, if you're watching. <laughs> okay, so obviously it's not nine days till Christmas. I will change that. I don't know. I must not have changed it last time. Maybe we, we traveled. I think we traveled over Christmas and then I never was able to update it, but there's that one and we put it right next to the tree. Oh, and we have our little, little elves. Is, that, is this where you're putting our elves? This is our little elf stand for now. I also got this in Door County. I literally get all of my Christmas stuff from Door County. I have a problem. I literally go and just spend all my money on Christmas things. <laughs> right here we put up our Merry Christmas sign that's so cute. Also got it at NatureWorks. And these two signs that I got after Christmas. I love putting up snowmen because they can stay up all winter long. That's what I like. I don't like to have to take it all down right after Christmas. So we can leave up some of our winter items. Like I also have this snowman who's super duper cute. This little adorable nutcracker. And he's like a, he's like a winter nutcracker. I feel like I could leave him up. And then this cute little silver tree and this tree i don't know are we gonna leave this tree here garrett we could maybe push it back and put it in this corner and our pillows are all on we just have one more thing to put up i'm dreaming of a white christmas but if the white ones that runs out i'll drink the red perfect for our kitchen also got it at nature works <laughs> seriously have a problem and then i also just put this little oh christmas tree right here on our counter okay last but not least i have this little adorable snowman wreath which i also got at nature works gosh you guys really need to get to door county and go to nature works that's where all the good christmas things are oh and i forgot to tell you i also put these little trees right here one two three they're so cute and glittery also got them at nature works <laughs> And I think that's it for today. Okay, so I still have all of these things, which will probably go in our background um, for our YouTube channel, obviously. And we also have these two more things right here, which will also go on our background. So I will put all those together. We will probably do that on a separate day because it's almost eight o'clock at night on a Sunday and we wanna go to bed. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. Thanks for joining us on our Decorate With Me. There's still a few little things that we need to do, like this tree right here. Don't really know what we're gonna do with that, but we might put that in our vlogging room as well. Thank you guys for watching. And now for our advent calendar pin unboxing. All right, it is time to open day three from our advent calendar. Here's our little advent calendar that we made. This one is small enough to actually fit inside the little box guy. Yes. So it's in there. I don't think I've ever mentioned this. Our advent calendar we bought from Costco I for like $25. I think I mentioned it on Instagram. If you're not following us on it. Oh, ow. <laughs> If you are not following us on Instagram, I'll leave our Instagram. It's literally, our Instagram name is The Leffersons. It used to be The Leffersons Do Disney. We have changed it. It is now just The Leffersons. Our Instagram's also down below, but. We cut it off. <laughs> yes. So this guy's a little guy. He's a little guy. And what's our, who's our advent calendar from? Oh, we got all of our pins from the Magic Launch Bay. Yes. And they all come in these mystery packs. We don't know what they are. And we've loved our past two pins. Oh my gosh. So much. Our past two pins have been amazing. Ugh. Our entire Vlogmas playlist, I will put down below. So if you have missed our first two of us unboxing, they were both limited edition and they were both Ellie of less than a thousand. I'm not gonna tell you what they were, but they were amazing. All right. That's this really one's cool. gonna be smaller because it was actually able to fit in it's there. It's a little guy. <laughs> oh! Oh, cute! This is a cute series. This is from Hong Kong Disneyland, and it, it, there's a whole series of balloons, right? Yes, there is. I think they're in the mystery... They're either in a mystery bag or a mystery box. I think you can get five this in one, the pack. This one is Pinocchio. 
He's and cute. He's flying away. He's super cute. That's cute. I'm not a I'm not a we're not a big Pinocchio collector. No, but there are a lot of cute ones in this mm -hmm. series. And the other great thing about Magic Launch Bay is that even if <laughs> even if you get things that you either don't want or you already have, these are gonna be good traders. And, and hopefully we'll be able to trade for something else in this set, like a pin or a character that we like. It's a thick pin. It is. Like <laughs> a thick pin. So that's cute. No, I like They're it. This is a cute. perfect change of pace from our like super duper LEs. Yeah, we started really strong. And this is no, this is still great though. It's from Hong Kong. It's from the it's from the international parks, and I'm that's in. exciting. So yay! Good stuff. All right, thank you guys so much for watching our decorating for Christmas vlog. I hope that you guys liked it and I also hope that we did an okay job <laughs> with it since we've never done anything like that before. But if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know um, either, let us know if you have decorated for Christmas already and tell us what is your favorite thing to decorate for Christmas? Is it the tree? Is it the lights? Is it all the other little decor items? Um, just let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more Disney content and for more vlogmas. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.